Hello and welcome to part 3 of the MX2 Talking Robot Project. This week, as you can see, I have a body and a mouth. Now, Dino will tell you about the circuitry and code that makes me talk. And yes, indeed, here we are with the MX2 Text-to-Speech module from Parallax Electronics and Joe Grand, the man who designed it. Uh, we're here with part three of a now going to be four-part series on these talking robot thingies I made. This week I finally have this one all together. It took a bit of doing to get everything uh, built up. I had to make an LM386 uh, amplifier to stick inside here. Also had to put together that little transistor booster circuitry and the MOSFET and mount all that up to a perf board, cram it all inside here, get everything working okay, figure out the angle on that little wire what that moves the thing. You'll hear all about that in a couple of minutes here. But uh, let's take a look inside this thing and I'll show you what makes it go. Well, for starters, we got this motor mounted here with a wire. And uh, the string is there to limit the uh, rotation of it so that it just lifts it up like this and it doesn't just spin around in circles when it gets a big boost. Way down in there is the board that has all of the uh, circuitry on it that makes this motor go with sound. That's the part that used to be on the breadboard. And then over here is the uh, Emic 2 down in there on a breadboard still. There's an Arduino. And a 9 volt battery is running the Arduino right now. There's a speaker down in there. And there's also 12 volts that run through that circuit that power this motor. So what happens is the Arduino puts out a serial signal and tells the Emic what to say. The Emic says that. It runs through the LM386 amplifier and then into the circuitry that turns on the MOSFET. And then that turns the motor and makes this thing talk. Like so. And I've got some uh, I have random, code here. random text code. Right Holy here. crap, Spackle. What kind of a statement is that? Holy crap, Spackle. You repeat yourself, you know. I got it. Well, I don't. Holy crap, Spackle. See, there you go. You're repeating yourself again. My mother was a 3D printer. Oh, that's interesting. I got it. You, what? What? I would like some electricity. Well, you've got electricity. You got I feel control. anxious. You keep interrupting me. I'm nervous. Oh, that would explain that. You do not know what you are talking about. Oh, God, that's it. That's enough for right me. Up. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And let's take a look at uh, the schematic that does all this now. So it's pretty much an LM386 uh, schematic that you can find on the project from April of last year, April of 2000. April of 2000? No, I don't think so. It's April of 2011, last year. Yeah, April of 2011. Okay, that's when I did the LM386. And then attached to the LM386 is this little circuit here. And uh, the audio comes in here, goes through two transistors. This one pulls everything down to ground unless there's a signal. And then it lets it run through to this PNP that boosts the signal. Then that runs over to the gate. The output of that goes to the gate of the MOSFET. The gate allows current to flow from the source through the drain and then out to the motor. It's pretty simple, really. I'll have a whole schematic drawn up on the uh, website, of course, on hackaweek.com on the project page, and I'll put a link down there in the uh, video description. We got some code work in here that will actually repeat uh, phrases randomly. And it's borrowed from a few other snippets of code that I dug around and looked for, like I mentioned before, and some of those things like the uh, Magic 8 Ball, the Fortune Teller, things like that. This one was pretty simple. I liked uh, how simple it was to implement. It just basically gets down to the random command. And there are a series of phrases that are up here. Uh, let's see, right there. There's all the phrases. They're in a line. It's all defined as output, the string is, and so once it finds the phrase, it just remembers that it's called output, and then you call that up, and you ask the emic to uh, write. Right there, it says, emic serial print output. And then that uh, prints the return from the command of above, output equals phrases, random number of phrases. So it picks a phrase and then says it. 
So let's check that out in action here. Let's plug the Arduino in. You can hear Amic do his thing. I'm a self-made machine. I have you come here. I like it here. I need to hinge this lid on the box before we uh, do too much more testing R&D type stuff. I've got it all sanded down really nice on the inside edges now so it operates really smoothly and what I'm going to do is put a hinge on it made out of some cloth. I've got a piece of cloth here with uh, some tape on it. This is the sticky side up on this edge and this piece of tape is a mask to keep the epoxy I'm about to apply on one side only of this cloth. And we'll put epoxy there, and I'll put some epoxy here, stick that side of the uh, the cloth hinge together, and let it dry, and then do the other side attaching it to the box. Here we go. Clamped. Let that sit for about five minutes. Five minute epoxy, so five minutes, give or take. And then we will stick it to the box. Well, there it is out of the clamp. Looks pretty good. There it is out of the clamp. Looks pretty good. It's got a nice smooth finish on it, and I can probably peel this tape off later. I don't really need to. I could leave it. The tape on the other side, though, does have to come off now. And then we'll glue that to the uh, to the box. There's the hinge done, and it it hinges actually. <laughs> So let's leave that like that. I've got that motor mounted in here on a wood block with the wire bent in just kind of an experimental manner. And uh, we'll close that down and turn everything on and see what happens. It's not too bad. It's just a little movement. You might just work with that. I feel anxious. Holy crap, Spackle. So the idea is I feel anxious. That next week I'll have another one going. I have to come here. This one right here. My creators wait with that way. My creator made me that way. This one will stand next to this one. Uh, uh, yeah, I will. And my creator made me that way. <laughs> and this one will talk. I have to come here. And then this one will talk. Just kind of oh, randomly. With no rhyme or reason. My mother was a 3D printer. To each other. I doubt it. Ha 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 ha. So eventually what I hope to do with this is uh, some sensors and things like that and maybe we can have some random phrases that pop up if it's being threatened or if you're being nice to it. And There's all kinds of possibilities. But this is a really good starting point and next week we'll get to see both of them talking to each other in part four of what was a three-part series but now is a four-part series because, well, it just is. That's what it takes to get this one done. So tune in uh, next week. And these bots will be talking to each other. Till then, keep on hacking.